All right, and welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Today, we're going to do another third grade math video. This video will be about using multiplication and division to solve word problems. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in here to number one. Number one reads, Franklin has nine groups of seashells. Each group has four seashells. How many seashells does Franklin have? So the first thing they want us to do is go ahead and model it. So I'm going to reread it. And as I reread it, I'm going to model the different parts <coughs> of the word problem. So Franklin has nine groups of seashells. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw my nine groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then next, it tells me that he has, uh, each group has four C cells. So we're going to put four C cells. I'm going to use X's to represent the C cells. Put four in each circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. All right. So now that we've modeled it, we see we have a total of thirty-six, but we have to actually write the equation. So this is a multiplication problem. So we can write it three different ways. We can say nine times four. Or we can write it as 9 times 4 using the, the x. Okay. Or we could say, using parentheses, 9 times 4. Put the 4 inside the parentheses. All of these which equal 36. Because when we counted it all up, it was equal to 36. So 9 times 4 is 36. So when it comes to explaining your thinking, you just write out. We can write it as 9 groups of 4 is equal to 36. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at B. B says, uh, number two, Franklin has 40 C cells. He separated them into five equal groups. How many C cells are in each group? We're gonna start off by using talking about the groups. He says he has five equal groups. Okay, okay so we're gonna draw five groups. One, two, three, four, five. Next, it says he has a total of, well, he has 40 C cells. So what we're going to do to show division here, to model this, I'm going to count up to 40 by putting, and I'm going to put one X in each, in each group until all, of the, until all of the circles have been filled up, and I've used up 40 C cells. So this is what it looks like. 1, So now that I've counted them all up, if I want to figure out what this solution is, I need to count up. I need to count the total amount of X's in one circle. So if I do that for one of the circles, I'm going to just zoom in here. I'm going to count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if I did all five circles, if I counted it up, each circle should have eight. So now I can write my sentence. 40 divided by five, or we can write it in the form of a fraction. 40 divided by five is equal to eight. And when we explain our thinking, <clears throat> we could just simply write that we're going to say 40 divided by five is equivalent. All right, number three, circle all the situations that can be represented by 30 divided by six equals. Now, what I want to do, we're going to actually go ahead and answer that. We'll finish this part right here. We're going to say what it equals. 30 divided by six is equal to five. Now, they want us to pick the right word problem that matches this, and it says circle all. So when it says circle all, that right there kind of lets you know that there's more than one answer more than one answer okay let's take a look at a <clears throat> a says jesse has 30 c cells and finds six more well this would be represented by 30 plus 6 which equals 36 that's not what we're looking for let's try answer choice b B says Jesse has 30 C cells and gives away six equal groups. Now, that this is represented when you give something away, you're subtracting. So essentially, 30 minus six times some number because she gave away equal groups. We don't know how many, but that's not that's not what we're looking for here.
the next one, C. Jesse has 30 C cells and separates them into six equal groups. Now, C represents 30 divided by six because of the six equal groups, okay? When you're dividing, when you're using, when you're talking about division or dividing, let me write this down here. Dividing, division. When you're talking about dividing or division, you, you're referring to a share or a split, and it has to be equal or even. Okay. So let's take a look at answer choice D. It says Jesse has 30 she cells and puts them into piles of six. So once again, she's splitting something and putting an e the same number in each group. So once again, number D can be represented by 30 divided by six, okay? Because she's putting them into equal groups, all right? So that would be for number, number four. All right, so number four says Franklin has 42 C cells in total. Create two multiplication problems that model the ways the C cells can be divided into equal groups. Write an equal, or excuse me, write an equation. So it says create two multiplication problems. So one of them is right here. We'll label that as A, and this is for number four, and we'll label this one as B. All right now when we're modeling these multiplication problems i have here a little multiplication table so the product the final answer is 42 so what i'm going to do right now we're going to look for where we see a 42 okay in, on the inside so let's see here we see 42 right here and right here do we see it anywhere else nope all right so we only have 42 in two places on our multiplication table all right so let's write out and matter of fact i'll use a different color to represent each one because I want to write out the multiplication statement. All right, so taking a look at this multiplication table, we have our, our two 42s. One of them, the orange one, these are the two numbers here, the seven and the six. And for the yellow one, it's gonna be the same two numbers, but we're gonna write them in a, in a different order. So when we write the yellow one, the yellow one, when, when you write out multiplication statements, you write it as a row, oops, it's supposed to be row, a row by a column. Or you write it out as a group by the number of items in each group. Right, but the one we're gonna use today is row by column. So rows go left to right, all right? Rows go left to right, columns are vertical, up and down. So the row number for the orange, if I'm writing out the orange multiplication sentence, that's gonna be seven, that's the row, times the column, which is six. And then when I do the yellow 42, it's gonna be six times seven. So when we go back to our problem over here, those are gonna be the two equations that we use. One of them is gonna say six times seven, and the other one is gonna say seven times six. And when we draw our, our picture to match, we're gonna draw an array. So for the yellow one, I'm gonna have six rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember, rows go left to right. So then I'm just gonna repeat this and keep counting up until 42. So that first one was seven, then that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. So there are our six rows with seven X's and the X's represent the C cells in each row. Now, when we model B, it's gonna be seven rows with six C cells in each row. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Seven rows with six items in each row. Okay, and we use our multiplication table, and we model it with the drawing. All right, let's take a look at number five. Number five reads, Isabella has 16 counters. She places an equal amount of counters into two groups. How many counters are in each group? All right, so let's start off with the groups. We identified it, it says it has two groups. So, two groups. Now, we can go ahead and if I'm modeling, remember, this is going to be a, a model of division. So if we write out our division statement, this is going to be 16 divided by 2. Or we can write 16 divided by 2. Both of those say the same thing. We know this problem is going to be 16 divided by 2. So when we model division, once again, I'm just going to put an a X in each group. 
until I've counted out 16 total X's. So and I'm gonna go back and forth between each group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So now that I've got the 16, in one of my groups, I'm just gonna count out how many did I put in, e in, in each group. This is how we do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 divided by two is equal to eight. All right, so it says how many counters are in each group? Eight counters. Number six, William has earned 56 points on his video game. If he earned eight points each time he played, how many times did William play to earn the points? So once again, we can kind of already figure out that this is another division problem. So we're going to we're going to use the eight to represent our groups. We're going to use this eight to represent our group. So watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have our eight groups. Now I want to count out to 56 by placing an X in each group until we have no until we've counted out to 56. So here. So now, now that we've counted up to 56 to figure out our division sentence, and let me write that one out for us too. I didn't write that. So for number six, this would be represented by 56 divided by eight. Or we could write it as. I could also write it using a fraction bar, 56 divided by eight. Both of those are equal to, and when we want to figure that out, we just count one of the circles. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we know that 56, oops, 56 divided by eight is seven. All right, number seven. Finish the fact family below. To do this, we can use the multiplication table again. Looking at number seven here, 45 is the product. Okay, the product is always on the inside of the multiplication table. So where is 45? I want to find a 45 in my table. I see a 45 right here. I see a 45 right there. I see, where else do we see a 45? Uh, oh, that's it, just in those two places. So now both of those should say the same thing. Nine times five, or five times nine. So nine times what equals 45? Nine times five. Therefore, 45 divided by nine is equal to five. All right, and that will conclude this lesson on uh, third grade multiplication and division.